I hope today you are ready for the next session. So today we are going to be going over app life cycle and view life cycle. So today we won't be coding uh, coding uh, much. We would be going only over the theory. But if you are going for an iOS interview, these things are really important. So the app life cycle. So what happens whenever you start an application, the, uh, the iOS also have a main file, main.m. So first, so, first, uh, so first your operating system goes into this file and then uh, first the main is called always and then from the main uh, the UI uh, uh, it makes one UI application main so this class makes an instance instance called UI application and this instance UI application is responsible for setting your run loop the, uh, so the main loop because in iOS what happens the execution does not goes from top to bottom the execution goes in loops so your UI application is responsible for setting the main run loop. The once the instance is set, now what happens? The application needs to respond on the main, on the main level, like uh, like when the application is running in the background, or when the application is terminated, suspended, or when the application starts. So the UI application instance sets this app delegate uh, app delegate file inside your project. So this app delegate file responds to all those events like going in the background going in suspension talking in uh, talking in the background uh, uh, so do before uh, terminated now this app delegate makes a um, uh, creates an object ui window for the user interface now this app delegate is only responsible for the callback methods now this app delegate file will uh, will will respond uh, make an instance of the ui window which will be responsible for uh, for the user interface like uh, like whatever we see so UI window is basically this empty container which is put onto your iPhone screen now the UI window now on top of the UI window you have the view controllers that goes on top of the UI windows so your UI window is just this empty container on top of which your view controllers are loaded and now and now once the uh, you can and then the second view controller is loaded if you if you uh, if you perform Segway or if you have a navigation if you or if you push a navigation controller, and then what happened? Then after this, the application did finish launching with options is options is uh, is executed the method inside app delegate because now uh, because now your application is fully fully like uh, is running and this method is called. After that, the view did load a view will appear are called inside the view control view controller files. And then again, the application did become active is called because now it's now it's good to go. It's active, and now your view did appear is called. So guys, this is the this is the application life cycle of the of any app in iOS. So once again, the summary. So first, the main file is called. Then the UI application main is called. Now this creates an instance UI application which sets the run loop and it sets the application level delegate file the app delegate file and this app delegate file creates an instance UI window which is an empty container and this and on this on and on this the view controllers are loaded and then the application did finish launching with options is called and then the view did load view will appear is called and then the application did become active is called and then the view did appear method is called talk about the view controller life cycle so a view controller life cycle is basically the methods and the and the whole life cycle of the view controller how does it starts lives and ends so first of all uh, view controllers have a life cycle it is a sequence of messages is sent to them as they progress so because uh, so by sent mes messages is uh, you mean the the methods that are in, that are invoked in the sequence how does it matter because you will commonly override these methods like when you, because when you're doing work your your code goes inside methods of a view controller life cycle uh, this is then uh, so so the first part of the life cycle is the creation how are the view controllers created as we all know it is from the segue or from the storyboard instantiate controller with identifier what happens so so before a view controller pops up it so it's always from the storyboard or from a segue from some other view controller and this is the uh, so the first option is like away from name is called so this is not a part of a view control life cycle but still this is the first method that is always called away from nib and now after the instantiation instantiation and outlet setting view did load is called but just uh, so view did load is a good place to 
do all the primary setup before the view controller pops up but still at this time the bounds are not set up and the objects are not placed onto the view controller so over here you cannot access the label uh, you cannot access the label the the buttons and all the storyboard objects now just before the screen is appears the view will appear this call now now this is the place where your bounce has already set the objects the storyboard objects are already on the view controller like label and buttons they're already there so that's why we say that this but uh, this method is called just before it appears do not have like a like a lot of loading in there because uh, because uh, what will happen so it will just be called again and again so so this method is just for setting the uh, the setting the memory and stuff now uh, so now the now like once you exit the screen so this view will uh, disappear is called so the view will disappear so you can do all the cleaning stuff you can uh, you can process the data if you want and then so both of these methods view will disappear and view will appear have the view did appear methods and the view did disappear now suppose that there, there is a layout change like you rotate from orientation you have orientation changes or something so always this view will layout subviews or view did layout subviews is called so inside this method you can set your bounds or add a more buttons or do some changes if you want to but yeah, usually like it's all so it's all auto layout so you don't really call it so this is a summary from first first the storyboard first the view controller is instantiating from the storyboard or from a, or from a or from some other segways then they are then they are away from nib is called then the segway preparation happens outlets are set the widget load is called now like as soon as the controllers appear and disappear your view will appear and view did, uh, did appear is called and view will disappear and view did disappear is called now if the geometry changes after view did load these methods are called view will lay out subviews and then and then the auto load happens and, and then view did subviews and if you have like a memory warning then did receive memory warning is called this is the whole uh, app controller life cycle